Hi there, thanks for checking this video. I'm Jackson Felden. Today I want to show how you can use Microsoft Defender for cloud apps in order to detect if your users are saving passwords on different files. That's, don't need to tell you, it's really a bad idea. In case of an attack, the criminals, they will always go for easy targets and usually they start scanning the network in order to find files containing password. Let me show how you can kind of easily detect that. Uh, there are two steps to be done. The first one, you need to create a sensitive info type in order to identify possible passwords. And the second step is to use the Defender for cloud apps to create a policy that will basically identify. Anyway, let me show you how you can do that. Okay, uh, here I am at the Microsoft 365 Compliance Portal. Okay, I can get easily there into the compliance.microsoft.com. Now the place I need to go in order to create the info type is over the data classification. Yeah, that's the place to go. Now, finally, sensitive info types, click in there. Yeah, as you can see, there are already more than 200 different types to identify credit cards, to identify driver license and passport numbers and so on. What I did already in order to buy a bit of time, I already created an info type called passwords to identify any password, sorry, to identify any file containing the word password. Uh, what I did before was create, I need, to, uh, I need to create a new sensitive info type just to avoid any duplication. I'm calling this guy here as password2. Uh, here really doesn't matter. Find passwords. Okay, that's fine. Click next. Uh, here is the critical part where I need to create a new pattern. Let me click in there. For the moment, I will stick with the high confidence, but later on, on step number two, when I'm setting up the policy on the Defender for Cloud apps, I can downgrade the level. Now I need to pick what is the primary element uh, I'm, I'm using to identify what I'm looking for. I could use regular expression. I could get a bunch of a bunch of words coming from dictionary. But right now, because I'm looking only for passwords, I can easily click on password. Uh, sorry, keywords. Click in there. I if I had uh, that created already, I could just retrieve from here. Otherwise, let me stick here with the plan. I'm creating a new ID called password two, and here is the critical part where I really want to go after any file where the content, somewhere in the content, the password isn't there. Okay, that's fine. That's pretty much done. Now let me click in here. Let me click on create. And finally, next. And yeah, let's stick with the default. Finally, let me create. Okay, that was step number one. Pretty much is done. Now step number two, I need to go, let me just close first. Okay, step number two now, I need to go to the, to the cloud app. Basically, the easy way to go there is just over the portal.cloudappsecurity.com and then you will go into the, your own tenant. Okay, uh, here from the Defender for Cloud Apps, the place to go is over policies. Let me click in here. And then again, to buy a bit of time, I already created the policy in a few seconds. I will show, yeah, kind of bad news for my tenant. 31 files were identify, uh, identified with somehow, you know, passwords in there. Uh, what I really did was the following. I need to create, okay, uh, here, and then make sure you go over the file policy. Okay, that's the type or the template I want to use, file policy. And then here I, you know, adjusted, I adjusted basically the parameters. Okay, that's the, the step. Now let me show my real policy, what, what I did already, just to save a bit of time. Uh, okay, let me just go back again. Okay, let me just explain what I did in here. Click in there. Anyway, whatever the name you want. Okay, the category I'm using here is a DLP. And then uh, here, I want to make sure I'm basically searching, uh, not myself, the Defender for Cloud Apps is searching for any sort of files. And the files can be text, can be Excel spreadsheet, can be, you know, pretty much, I just picked everything from here. Okay, that's the first part of the policy. 
Second, I want to make sure that applies for every single file where the Defender for Cloud apps can, you know, really uh, find. In the critical thing, every, everything is critical actually, but anyway, the, the key point in here is when it comes to the inspection method, okay, make sure you get, you select data classification service. And then basically here now is the, the, the place where I assigned the pre-configured uh, info type. I just created passwords, okay? Just to show, you know, what I did before. If I click in here, and then I can basically get from the sensitive information type, click in there. And then from here, I could search for my, you know, password or password to I already create. Sometimes it takes a bit of time in order for the, the fresh policies, uh, sorry, for the fresh uh, info type to be available. This is why I already created my one called passwords. Okay, that's pretty much what I did. And then the second configuration, yeah, password is there. Second one is I want to create an alert every time the system managed to identify a uh, a file containing passwords, you know, it generates an alert. Okay, in here. And let me see if I did anything else. Okay, oh yeah, and here as well, I under the the one the one drive, sorry, I want Diego to be notified. And under the SharePoint, I selected, you know, some more people to get an email for because you know that's kind of critical enough. Okay, uh, now just to prove my configuration really worked. If I go back to my virtual machine, hopefully I can remember the password. Uh, just one second. Oh yeah, there you go. Okay, and then I have here a user uh, working from the um, uh, Windows 10, 12, Lee G. And a really bad file this guy managed to create was this one here. Full list, okay, of the accounts, you know, support and Contoso, Mail, Facebook, LinkedIn, kind of disaster what this guy really did in here, all the passwords. But of course, my file, let's say my configuration is looking for the, the word passwords. Okay, this is, you know, the file I just created. Now, if I really want to, to show the configuration works, let me just go back to the policy. Let me just index here by okay this is the file and now if i click on all the matches you know i've done so far i can show you here a bunch of files in the file i just opened and show you a few seconds ago is here password lee g if i click in there i can just confirm here the the path let me just zoom in in here okay yeah basically from onedrive from lee g and the yeah the file is here Okay, password lg dot yeah, it's an Excel file from there. Okay, just to show you one more time, if I go quickly back to my the, the device, and yeah, the file is here, password, uh, passwords uh, lg, and the password is in here. Okay, anyway, that's pretty much what you can use. Really powerful, you know, powerful uh, policy. And the idea is to kind of, you know, be ahead of the, the, the criminals. Eventually, if you spot any file like me in here, the idea is to go after, you know, that user, do a proper kind of education, uh, telling them they really should not be saving passwords on random files around your network. And these are the quick steps I wanted to share with you today. If you enjoyed this video, please give a quick like and see you next time. Thanks for watching.